this is where I usually come early in the morning. This is my office. Um, and I usually, this is, I have a bed in here in case we have guests over, but um, I like my fairy lights. This is where I usually do a lot of my work. And um, those are my walls that you see behind me when we are on camera and we're talking in the morning. Um, over here, my niece made me one of these diamond art paintings. I just love touching it, it's so beautiful. She's so sweet and she did such a great job on that. Um, I'm, I'm gonna get it framed, but right now I want it up here. Good morning. All right, so I'm gonna talk to you for a second while I'm making some French toast for the boys and maybe for myself. Um, you know, it's always such a struggle to find a bread that's like low in points that also tastes like bread, right? And um, the one that I found just this last time was this, um, I don't know if you could see it. I found it at Walmart. It's an old fashioned whole wheat. It's actually, I think this is like a Walmart brand bread though. Maybe not. Papa Pita Bakery. Papa Pita Bakery. It's 90 calories per slice. So I'm gonna see how many um, points that is. I'll put it on the screen. But it looks like my old fashioned bread. Like the stuff that I make, and but yet it's a little bit more pliable because my bread ends up being a little stiff. It's good, but it's a little stiff. So this one I'm hoping is gonna be a little bit more bread like. The kids are outside taking care of the chickens and doing their chores and at any moment they should start coming in um, tattletailing on each other. <laughs> so and so's not letting me do this job. So and so's doing too much. And it's like the stuff that they complain about is not stuff you should complain about. <laughs> I tell them, listen, if somebody wants to help you do your job, let them help you. They're probably not going to want to help you do it tomorrow. But, um, but don't count on them doing your job, right? You need to do it yourself from now on. Just, but if they want to help you and they want a little extra work, fine. Encourage them. All right. See you in a minute. I'm putting a roast, a pork roast. It's already been seasoned. Um, I like it that way because it's already marinated. And I put that in a crock pot with a cut up onion and um, half a bag of frozen peppers and a half a cup of low sodium chicken broth, bone broth. And I'm gonna set that outside to cook during the day. This should be ready before dinner. All right, this is my breakfast. I made some French toast here with um, the homestyle bread. And I am having a half a grapefruit, a quarter cup of non-fat Greek yogurt. Um, which is zero points on freestyle and then I put a little bit of this syrup in it mango flavored to sweeten it I've got some blueberries on top um, and what I did for my filling is I'm probably going to put some sugar-free syrup on top um, but I have this Amish pear uh, butter which is no sugar added and I used a tablespoon of that I'm not counting any points for that um, because it's only like one gram of sugar but for like two tablespoons so I'm going to look that up and see if maybe that's I should be counting for that um, and then I bought this PB fit I accidentally bought the chocolate one but it's okay I like it um, I've got two tablespoons of that for one point and I added one teaspoon of the natural creamy Jeff for one point because I don't just like PB fit by itself I like a little bit more fat flavor and so that kind of does it up nicely and that's going to be my five point breakfast I had a seven point lunch here, a Joseph's uh, pita bread, uh, the Sargento Gouda slice, um, some lean turkey, avocado, and zero point soup. Hey everybody, I'm on the way to the dentist for my final appointment to getting this crown in. And so uh, once that's done, <clears throat> I guess the new crown is there. And uh, then I'll be done with the root canal. I'm so happy about that. Okay, so, um, if you're new, I want to say welcome. Welcome to my journey. I hope we can um, get to know each other a little bit better along the way. Um, 
Now I was watching, I feel like my hair is getting a little too long or something. I was watching Dish with D today and she got the cutest haircut and it's short and I used to have it pretty short like that when, when uh, our eldest was a baby and it was so easy to care for and it's so cute. Uh, one of my favorite actresses at the time from one of my soap operas, she had the same haircut and I really liked it. Um, but my husband likes my hair long. One of the things that I found that's really helping me is, um, you know, not too long ago we did like a low sugar challenge, right? Where we, we had, I did and the kids had, I think it was 25 grams of sugar daily. And we're actually still following that. My husband had um, like a few more grams of sugar daily. Added sugars, right? Okay, um, and so we got into this mode of, paying for sugars as we use them and um, and it seems completely normal to me now and it seems normal to the kids that when the pennies run out which is what we use to sim symbolize the grams of sugar um, then we're out of the sugar grams for that day of added sugars and we can't eat any more added sugars and I got used to that being so normal that it kind of carried over into the Weight Watcher mindset where I'm looking at it going sorry there's like a fire engine going by um, so it kind of carried over into the Weight Watcher mindset where I'm thinking I have so many points because I get like 23 a day and I add up a little bit more I actually buy a little bit more with physical exercise um, during the day so far today I think I've added like seven extra you know points um, to use if I need to, right? And I have not touched my weeklies, which I think I have like 39 or something for the week. Okay, so I'm in the mode that if I can't afford something, I'll either get an extra job, I'll get a side hustle job, which is, um, you know, physical activity, or I run out and I can't afford it. So I live on a fixed income of points. And if I can't make that, then I have to uh, make it on that. Then I have to get a side hustle and add up some extra points, add them in, and then I can afford some treats in the day, right? I think my uh, phone is starting to overheat, so I'm going to turn it off for a second. Now I'm going to go into Target and see if I can walk out with just two things. All right, I brought this roast in, and I think I had it outside too long. It looks like... I may have overcooked it a bit. I'm gonna see. I think, yeah, I'm. I think I overcooked it, but it's gonna be okay. No, it's still pretty tender. It's just gonna. It's gonna keep falling apart. So I don't know what to do with this. I might make some tacos or something like that. It's a little dry. I think. Maybe I could put some moisture in it. There's a little bit in there. Okay, guys. I just got back from Target, and um, I went in there for like two things, and wouldn't you know it. <laughs> Never ends up that way at Target, does it? Okay, so I did find a few things that I wanted to share with you. One particular thing that I've been looking for for a while and I haven't been able to find it, and that is these. They are the Good Thins, but the corn flavored. And I have to tell you how many points these are. Freestyle points. You can get 41 for three points. 41! <laughs> So, needless to say, I got quite a few of them because you can get, I don't even think I would eat 41, but normally I don't buy crackers, but the thing is, is that I was having that bit of a wrap earlier and I just wanted a little bit of crunch. I wanted some kind of a crunch without having to go to the chips, right? Um, my kids were eating some chips and um, so the little one gave me like three and I'm like, you know what, I don't want to have to do this though. I want some sort of crunch and this is gonna definitely fit the bill. Um, now, I had a question about beans, okay, because I believe all beans were, I thought all beans were free on Freestyle, but I did get some pinto beans at um, Target and when I scanned them, it said uh, one, one quarter cup dry for one point, right? And I have my list of um, freestyle free foods, right? And I printed them out and I looked under beans, but Pinto's wasn't one that was listed. Yet at the same time, fat-free refried beans made from Pinto's 
are free. So I'm assuming that pinto beans are free too. So if I'm wrong, let me know. Um, okay, let me show you, show you what else I got. All right, I feel like I'm a mess, but oh well. Um, okay, so I got these little things here because I make the um, Weight Watcher banana bread in there. Um, now I hear people talking about uh, the Built Bars and I haven't tried those yet, but to me, these sound like they're a good runner up because these are five points per bar. There's 19 grams of protein, one gram of sugar, and 190 calories. And I think that the Built Bars have more grams of sugar than that, right? They're like three grams or something. And these ones are super good. These are dark chocolate coconut. And that is a lot of protein. So this, in the past, has worked really well. Um, but I can give, you know, half of those to the kids and they're pretty happy with that as well. I also, uh, but I, I got those mainly for um, me and hubby because I think that, you know, hubby would really love those. Um, provolone reduced fat, one slice for two points. This is Market Pantry, so this is the Target brand. Reduced fat Mexican style shredded trees, one quarter cup for three points. Corn in the cob was cheap there. Cherries are on sale there right now if you got a Target. Um, bananas are always a good price there. Of course, I got some frozen asparagus, some eggs because we have chickens, but they can only lay so much per day. Also, all the berries are buy one, get one 50% off. So I got quite a few strawberries there. Um, a little bit more fair life for the kids. They drink that. Okay, so I just wanted to show you what I got. So we are having dinner and we are just talking about tales of dental experiences with all the kids. You guys have all been to the dentist, right? And mm -hmm. so who's had a tooth pulled before? Let's see your hands. And Shane, do you think you're gonna get a tooth pulled soon? Yeah. Maybe so, huh? So we're talking all about that. And Honey has had quite a few pulled, right? Multiple. <laughs> Okay, everybody, it is late and um, I've sung the kids a song to go to sleep tonight. Uh, lullaby, they did some karaoke and got the kitchen cleaned up and I am just tired. I meant to get into the gym and do another mile and a half walking, but I just didn't make it. My eyes are getting heavy and I feel like I have sand in them, so I need to get to sleep. Um, hubby wants to get into the gym early in the morning and I'd really like to join him if I can But I can only do that if I'm gonna get some decent sleep, so I need to do that um, But anyway, okay, so um, I will talk to you all tomorrow. I hope you had a wonderful wonderful day uh, I'm, I'm glad that I did uh, rack up some more physical activity points earlier today or I would not have been able to afford my dinner um, because I had that piece of um, pineapple pie and I do have that I do have that recipe I'll try to link it below if I can remember all right guys I love you a lot I will see you tomorrow